Will Robin, the lizard Rex wrote, do the reptilian run to the top and take home a chunk of the crag? Can the Jaguar, Jennifer Barnes, tear apart the competition? Or will Bobby Lightning Boswell strike when the moment is hot? I'm Mike O'Malley, and this is Nickelodeon Guts. Do you have it? Yeah! Guts! It takes a certain kind of person to the body working to the level of precision that's needed to be risen to the top. You have it. It takes a certain kind of something to keep the heart pumping, something everybody needs to achieve to succeed. You need a lot. Do you have it? Do, 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 do. Yeah. You're crashing the boards with Davis, David Robinson, Dennis Robin, and Akeem Olajuwon. No way, you say? Well, in our Elastic Sports Events rebound, this re is yours. Another Elastic Sports Event on Guts. Let's go to our referee, Mo Quirk, for the rules. Mo. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, all three players will jump off the aerial bridge towards the center post. Players will have five chances to grab the rebound. The player with the most rebounds wins. On your mark, get set. All right, so who's going to have the determination to get up there and get the first rebound? And it looks like no one came home with that one. On your mark, get set. All right, and with that whistle, they go up for the second rebound. Who's going to take on that one? And that is the Lizard. Oh, yeah. I'm not crying any crocodile tears for that second rebound. She took home that one. On Let's your mark, next. get set. All right, and so the third rebound, they go up and... Oh, gets again and fighting for it! Oh! Now, we will go to Mo to see if she did drop that, getting back up to the aerial bridge, but we'll see if that counted. Mo. Um, the rule is that if you have the basketball and you bounce back on the ground, then the ball is yours. So that was Robin's basket there, or her rebound. Players, on your mark, get set. All right, now each player is assigned an individual judge to get the results, and they're fighting for that one, and again! We have the Lizard and the Jaguar fighting for that 300-point kitty at the end of it here, and we're ready for our fifth rebound. On your mark, get set. All right, crashing the boards. Who's going up to get that one? Fighting again. That's the Lizard. And let's go to Mo for the official results of that first event. In first place was Robin in blue with three rebounds and tied in third place with no rebounds each, Jennifer in red and Bobby in purple. Well, folks, these elastic words don't work by themselves. Remember, these athletes must engage the elasticity with their own power. And look at the power, the leg power, and then the arm strength of Robin, the tenacious offense as she took back that rebound. And let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo! Well, Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Robin in blue. And tied in third place with 100 points each, Jennifer in red and Bobby in purple. All right, well, the player with the most of points at the end of all of our events is the winner of the most points. So let's go to Mo and check out our event lineup. Mo. This is what we've got. We've just done rebound. Coming up next is our radical home run obstacle course, Extreme Baseball. We'll kick off our second half with the new pool event, Scurf and Safari, and then go back to the field for Soccer in the Sky with Shootout, our aerial soccer event. And, of course, our last event is the Mega Crag. Back to you, Mike. All right, well, that event, rebound is out of the way. Now it's time for Robin to spill her guts. Hi, my name is Robin. I'm on a swim team and I like playing softball and basketball. That gave me a lot of practice to help make guts. All right, and trying for an inside the park home run has never been tougher. It's our new event, Extreme Baseball. Let's take a look at what we have on our base paths today. Ladies and gentlemen, our players will start off at the Ken Griffey Jr. swing over to first base. Over to first base, down the fire pole, and up over our decoy second baseman, and then on to the column to second base. Up the column and over into the air bag. The third base coach is waving you on, folks. You got to go over to the cargo net, up the cargo net, and onto the third base platform, down the slide, but you can't take a nap. You got to go up the wall, Kenny Lofton style, and then a slide into home plate. Mo rules. Mike. Our players are timed from the batter's box to home plate. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. Are you ready? Then on your mark, get set. All right, that's Robin. She's supposed to play. Deep drive for Robin. Oh, yeah, this one is going to be extra bases easy as she slides down the fire pole and goes on to 
to second base. She's over our decoy second base front. Boom, it's off the wall. Yeah. Our outfielders are chasing after the ball, and she's on to our second base as she climbs up that platform. And Robin onto the platform, must hit the airbag right now. Third base coach is saying, come on, Robin, you gotta come home. The throw to the shortstop. Cut off, man, he bobbles the ball. The ball's on the ground as she continues to run. Will she get this inside the park home run in fast time? Boom, a gust of power as she gets down there. All right, here's the throw. He's picked up the ball over to third base, but no! She's going home, she's all the way home. And you see Robin sliding down into left 48 seconds. She was at 48 seconds down the slide. Let's get the official time from Mo. Mo. Robin clocked in at 49.1 seconds. All right, 49.1, the time to beat. On your mark, get set. All right, deep drive for the Jaguar. Also, well, folks, rev up your engines. Oh, yeah. This ain't no British luxury car. This is our guts player, Jennifer Barnes, going into this event, tied in second place with 100 points as she's over. Our decoy second baseman on to our column. Yeah, you can't slide into second base. She's got to climb, beat the clock, and beat Robin the Lizard, Rex Road's time. That's right, our Tyrannosaurus Rex Road is in the lead going into this, and she rolls out. That's Jennifer the Jaguar as she climbs up the cargo net. She's at a good time with 36 seconds, but she's gonna have to get home in less than 10. Here we go, folks. As she goes down the slide, boom, into the cushions. All right, folks, it doesn't look like she's going to get first place time, but remember, she's going for her personal best as the throw to the plate. Here it is. She's having trouble at the top with the rope. She's struggling. She's getting back up there, but she has the power. Continuing her climb as she gets down the slide, beating the clock and beating the throw to home. All right, folks, so the time to beat was 49.1. Let's get the official time for Jennifer the Jaguar from Mo. Mo. Jennifer clocked in at one minute and 2.8 seconds, Mike. Okay, so having some trouble there getting into home, but it looks like Bobby the Lightning Boswell is ready. On your mark, get set. All right. Well, the Lightning Boswell. Deep drive for him also, folks. Oh, yeah, it's back, back, way back. Ah, it's just off the top of the wall of the Green Monster in Fenway Park. Yeah, imagine that sports fantasy, ladies and gentlemen. As Bobby continues to climb, he's going to have to pick up the pace if he wants first place points on this one. He sees the platform. Look at the man's agility as he continues his climb. And nice form into the air. Back the third base coach saying, come on, Bobby Lightning. 300 points awaits you. A big plate at home plate of 300 points. The throw from the outfielders to the second baseman. Boom, there it is. Oh, yeah. Here's a, oh, boom, down, he's over, up to the, up the wall, the time to beat 49, look at this man's speed, he's gonna have to really also two seconds to get down there, he didn't beat the first place time, into the plate. Let's get the official time from Mo, Mo. Bobby clocked in at 52 seconds even, that puts Robin in first place, Bobby in second place, and Jennifer in third place. And we've got our winner right here, Robin the Lizard, Rex Road, and what did you think was the toughest part of that event? The, like, clock way up. But you did a good job. She's a little subdued, a little relaxed. And right now we're going to go to Mo and check out where she stands at the leaderboard. Mo. Here they are, Mike. In first place right now is Robin in blue with 600 points. In second place, we have Bobby in purple with 300 points. In third place, Jennifer in red with 200 points. Hang 10. Hang what you want, folks, because we got a little scurfing safari. Skiing and surfing coming back. You come back with the Mike and Mo Show. Welcome back to Guts and the Mike and Mo Show. I'm Mike, she's Mo, and a fervent competition so far. Robin with 600 points. If she can hold on to that lead, she will take home this glowing chunk of our awesome rock, the prized Guts Trophy. Mo, what do you think about today's event so far? I think we've seen some pretty tough competition. Robin is pretty much acing every event so far, but she's got some tough competitors. She's right. got some work to she do. She certainly does, and we got more events coming up, and you have some highlights from the first yes, half. Yes, let me show you some pieces of drama that we've uh, put together for you. We have here Robin grabbing the rebound. It's no ifs and buts. That is her rebound right there. Fabulous, fabulous form. But here we have the tough competition. We have Jennifer sliding down the pole and making her long legs just shift over our obstacles like nobody's business. But this is where Robin bagged it. 
well bagged it indeed. She has she, a perfect uh, game so far yes, right look now. Look at how she gets finish. up this cargo net. She just throws herself at it. One, two. This is a tough thing to do. She makes it look like a two-step. Determination and speed important in that one. We're going to need balance in our next event, but yes. we'll get to that. I know you got to get down to the field for I our next event. I got to away. All right. Slip sliding away. That's Mo. And right now it's time for Jennifer to spill her guts. Hi, I'm Jennifer. When I'm not busy with my schoolwork, I enjoy gymnastics. I think gymnastics make me stronger and faster to get. Oh, yeah. Well, folks, you take a ski board, you add a surfboard. What do you get? A skirt board. It's skirfing safari. Let's go skirfing now. Everybody's learning how rules from Mo. Mike, each of our players will scurf their way across the pool and back, making sure to go around each of the five buoys in the pool. They must high-five the spotter to end the race, and any missed buoys will mean time penalties. As of course, best time wins. Are we ready over there? Then on your mark, get set. All right, and there's our leader going into this event. And look at the balance as she makes a slalom move right around those buoys. Remember, a perfect game on the line here for... Robin, her nickname, The Lizard. We'll see if she can put her reptilian traits to work right here. And great time right here, folks, is she incredible poise and balance and arm strength and pulling herself across. And there she comes in with the touch to our spotter, which will stop the clock. Let's get the official time from Mo. Robin clocked in at 25.7 seconds, Mike. Okay, folks, so our players refusing to put up with ordinary physical challenges. These athletes aren't vacationing in this pool. No time for lounging right here. They are trying to sculpt themselves a five-event masterpiece on guts in which it takes incredible energy. And right there, if she can hold on to the leading time, the winning time, she will go on to our fourth event with the perfect score. Mo. On your mark, get set. And there is Jennifer as she begins her move around the pool. You see right there, incredible concentration and good arm strength, but it looks like right now she is ahead of Robin's time as she makes her turn into the last buoy on the first run around. There's the touch and the turn. The time to be 25.7 seconds. She's going to have to hustle. Back over as she makes the turn. She's going to have to really pick up the pace right there. You see her tongue was sticking out there with a little bit of determination, but right in and close but not as fast if that time is official. We'll go over here and find out what was happening with Jennifer. Jennifer, how'd you feel in that last event? I felt fun. It was um, hard getting across the water, but it was fun. All right, and she, so she is ready at the end of the event. Let's go to the official time from Mo. Mo. Jennifer's official time was 29.5 seconds. That includes a two second penalty for lifting her board out of the water. That is okay. a rule. All right, so a little bit of a penalty right there. We'll see if that helps out Bobby. Bobby goes into this event with 300 points. On your mark, get set. All right, well, let's see if Bobby of the Lightning Boswell can electrocute a performance right here. You see he's having tough, a tough time with his balance right there. He's got to move himself forward, and the only way he can do that, ladies and gentlemen, is by using his arms. Again, the challenge of those rapids flying at the skirt board. As you see a shot of his feet getting around those buoys. There's the turn right there, but already he is behind both of our other players' times. Time to buoy up right here, and our players need very pliant, athletic, bendable bodies to do the decoy dance right here, ladies and gentlemen. He's out of the pool right there, his weight shifting forward. He's going for a personal best right now, and he's got to continue using his arms along that rope, get his head up, determined, talking to the spotter, and there he is. So let's go for the official results from Mo. Bobby clocked in at 50.6 seconds. And let me just clear up our penalty ruling. Our players may not lift up the scurf board to go around the buoys, but it is a natural that sometimes the board will come out. So let me give you the placings. In first place, we have Robin in blue. In second place, Jennifer in red. In third place, Bobby in purple. Okay, so let's take a look at the replay right here. Perfect game. Yeah, I believe so. Look at the concentration, the poise, the composure and balance. As you see, Robin, our blue player, again, going for the perfect game finish. She was getting thrown all around that pool with the rapids, but she held on firmly right there to the rope. Very determined. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard standings now, Mo. Right now, Robin in blue is in the lead with 900 points and tied in second place with 400 points each. Jennifer in red and Bobby in purple. 
All right, we'll see if our players can knock off Robin in our next event. Right now, it's time for Bobby to spill his guts. Yo, I'm Bobby Bosworth. To prepare for guts, I train hard on my Taekwondo class because I thought it would make me mentally and physically ready to compete. Well, you've battled through two halves and two overtimes in the finals of the World Cup. Our next event, a shootout. That's right, folks. It's time to put on a little elastic bounce in here. Step in. Oh! Go, Mo, rules. Very nice, Mike. At the sound of my whistle, all three players will jump off the aerial bridge and try to kick their soccer balls into their nets. The player with the most goals at the end of 60 seconds will win. Players, are you ready? Then on your mark, get set. All right, and so 60 seconds to see the story of the game. If our player, Robin, can hold on to our perfect score, and right now she has won, our blue player. That's Jennifer in red going back for the kick, but she is having trouble. We have two for blue right now. Two for blue on the scoreboard as red goes up with a nice kick. That'll dribble right in there. All right, folks, accuracy extremely important. You need to hit the mark on the floor to be in a good position to kick the ball. 30 seconds left right now. Good aim after the accuracy, extremely important. And right there with another one just going off for their blue player. I gave you an incorrect score for our blue player. We now have one for blue. Red with a nice kick right there. One for red. Perfect game on the line with 12 seconds left. We have one for purple, one for blue, one for red. Time running out, eight seconds. Six seconds left. Who will it be? One, all. At the last second, the last kick. Time running out. All right, folks. Good competition on that one as all of our players getting one goal. Let's go to Mo and find out the official results on that last event. Mo. Actually, Mike, Bobby in purple scored right at the buzzer, so he came in first place with two goals and topped in second place with one goal each. Jennifer in red and Robin in blue. All right, folks. Well, the perfect game out. Let's go to the leaderboard. Still in the lead right now, Robin in blue with 1,100 points. In second place, Bobby in purple with 700 points. In third place, Jennifer in red with 600 points. Okay, folks. That was a little shootout, but now the cannons will really be roaring. Coming up next, Mega Craig. Come right back. Welcome back. Guts, where the Extreme Arena is ready to erupt in anticipation for our Mega Crag event. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo. After four events, Mike Robin in blue is in the lead with 1,100 points. In second place, Bobby in purple with 700 points. In third place, Jennifer in red with 600 points. To look at where they stand, let's take a look at some second half highlights as you see Jennifer on our scurf board trying to make good time and ruin Robin's perfect game going into this event. But she had some trouble with her balance getting around and there's Robin with incredible balance, composure, speed, poise. She had it all in this event. And right here, into a little shootout event, Bobby took first place in this event with a nice kick, ruining the perfect game. And so our players, this competition has been hot, very hot so far, and now it's about to get even hotter. In fact, the competition on Guts is so hot that our crag has taken on a new molten color. Now it's mega, mega sharp, mega large, mega challenging. Now. Our shard zone has erupted from the very core into a tangled mass of petrified lava. And to get to the peak, our players must now climb over Stone Ledge, a horizontal rock climb that leads to the top. As our players climb, they will trigger obstacles like floods, snowstorms, and nuclear flying crystals. And of course, the sound of a dormant volcano ready to blow. That fury awaits our players. I hope they're ready. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mega crag to climb and may not cross into another player's path. Now during their climb, our players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the crag, 
will receive first place points. Mike. All right, so our players take a look at that menacing Mega Crag. Let me remind you that the points have blasted through the roof for our final event, the Mega Crag. Third place being worth 375 points, second place being worth 550 points, and first place 725 points. Who will get to the top of our crag first? We're about to find out. Let's go to Mo for the kickoff. Players on your mark, get set. And that whistle means begin the climb up Boulder Canyon. And right there, our leader, Robin, having trouble in Boulder Canyon. That could really affect her time. As you see, Jennifer Tentative also in Boulder Canyon as the nuclear flying crystals come raining down on our players. Over there on our right, you saw our purple player. That's Bobby. And he was in the lead. And there's Jennifer going up to hit that actuator. Right there, Stone Ledge, as you take a look at his up barricade that is extremely difficult to climb over. There are a number of ways our players can get over there. And right there, Robin hitting the actuator has made it over. Bobby, though, in the lead. Bobby with 700 points in this event. It's Bobby and Robin at the top. Blue on your left. Right there, that's Robin, our leader, going to the top. And looks like Robin's going to be... Oh, no, it's Bobby! Bobby flies in! Dead Robin! Oh, my! And Jennifer, the Jaguar of Barnes. She's continuing her climb. She went back down to hit an actuator that she had missed. She went into this event with 600 points. She had missed another actuator. She is getting that from our judge at the top. She has hit that actuator and continuing her climb. This athlete will lock in and third place points. That's Jennifer the Jaguar, but the story right there, folks, sliding in. You saw it on your screen. Bobby in first. Let's get the official from Mo. Mo. In first place on the Mega Crag, Bobby in purple. In second place, Robin in blue. In third place, Jennifer in red. Oh my, take a look right here. Jennifer, that's the Jaguar Barnes trying to pounce on the next part of Boulder Canyon and getting down there and around. You take a look at our big Mega Crag and over to the right, our purple player. Right there, Bobby, he was in the lead. Bobby was in the lead at that point. All right, folks, and as they continue to climb, the snow, the smoke, all of the obstacles, trying to tackle our players and slow them down. I was calling that looked like Robin was gonna punch in first. There she was, our leader all day, but Bobby, boom, punching it in. First place points on the Mega Crag. Let's go to Mo for our final leaderboard standings. Mo. Here they are, Mike, with our Mega Crag deciding it once again. In third place today, Jennifer in red with 975 points. In second place, Bobby in purple with 1,425 points. Our winner today, Robin in blue, 1,650 points. Mike. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and so our players are getting into position for those awards that they so richly deserve, getting over and getting detangled, derigged from that mega crag. They're getting in position. The bronze medal going to Jennifer, the Jaguar Barnes. All right, folks, and then, of course, the silver going to our mega crag winner. That's Bobby, the lightning rod. Boswell. But standing atop the first place position, getting the gold medal, ladies and gentlemen, it's Robin, our blue player. Give her a piece of that glowing rock, ladies and gentlemen, because she needs to take home the chunk of our guts trophy. No ifs, ands, or buts. These kids got guts. Do you have it? Guts! recorded in front of a live audience at Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando at Universal Studios Florida. Yeah.